Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another thrilling edition of Knights of the Dirty Table. I am your host, Fitchburg's Merrick Henry, and today we're going a little off of the usual movie fandom that we've addressed in the last few episodes. Today, we're going back to our roots. We're talking strict comic books. We're talking about our favorite comic books that we've read growing up. Certainly, Dan and Wayne have a few. I do as well. Speaking of today, my guests are Wayne Dwyer. Hello. And Dan and Jemmy. Hi. And Dan, I'm going to start with you. What What's the earliest comic book memories that you have? Superhero well, comic book memories. We'll go specific here. Well, my dad owned a comic book shop when I it closed when I was um, when I was born. But he had a lot of comics to go through on the bookshelf. He had those DC hardcover archive editions, so I would read stuff like Green Lantern, mm. The Flash, Justice League, Batman. You know, all these '40s comics, all in archival format, color corrected, beautiful. And stuff like Grill the Wanderer, even some of these comics up here, like Justice League, Action Comics, even Shazam, Mar you know, Captain Marvel. Earliest memories were without that because hardcover copies, they were great. Did you ever take any books out of the store when well, you shouldn't have? No, no, the store was closed, but um. I did take some <laughs> comics that I probably shouldn't have done as a child because I would just handle them like... <laughs> I, think I, everyone, that. I think everyone did that at one point. Probably. Yeah, but it's probably a little easier when your dad runs yeah. an establishment. Oh, man, we had too many comics, though, even if I did break something. We just came out for, for trick-or-treating. <laughs> that would be an awesome gift for someone. Can I get a Snickers? Nah, you get a spawn. Here you go. <laughs> oh. This is the one when he decapitates Violator his head. It's just as good as a Snickers. I already have this one. <laughs> Wait, what? Give it to me last year. Wait. I want a better one. Give me Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wait, what are your earliest superhero comic memories? So the very first comic book I ever owned was Green Lantern versus Silver Surfer, and I was in the fifth grade, and I think I bought it on Main Street or something like that. And my cousin at the time, who was a big comic book fan, who taught me everything I know about comics, Saw a picture of Hal Jordan as Parallax, which I didn't know who that was at the time. Yep. And the Silver Surfer, and then offered to buy it off me for a dollar. <laughs> and I was like, no, I want to keep the comic book. And then I think my brother probably ate it or something. I don't I don't know. Which... Ate it. Like, um, nom nom nom. Yeah, I, probably just pissed me off. That's how you get the powers, right? <laughs> yeah, that's how, that, that's how little brothers get their powers, that they eat other... They eat the older brother stuff. I have so my I have powerful ring now. and my surfboard now. I'm good. Where's my lantern? <laughs> uh, how about you, buddy? Uh, well, actually, uh, my first comic book that I that I ever read. Now, I, I had always been into superheroes before I read comic books because growing up for me, superhero animated television series were very in. Kids WB, Cartoon Network were really good and on point with you know the DC animated universe. Uh, I was certainly a fan of the 90s Spider-Man as a kid. It kind of hasn't aged well, but that's okay. Hey, hey, he can you can come up there and fight like a spider instead of him going <laughs> up there and fighting like a man. I still remember that line. I also remember when Power Rangers premiered season two, and then they had an X-Men episode. I, to, I still remember that. That was prime time, yes. yes I, remember I was not that. alive for that. I'm not that old. What about the X-Men uh, animated series? That was Oof. so good. Oof. So, so good. So all of these series influenced my information of superhero but I... Never had actually read a comic book. I was, I was really being a poser at like age 12. And then I met Wayne Dwyer and he actually allowed me to read my first real comic book. He gave me Kingdom Come, which is an alternate reality Justice League story where the Justice League heroes are essentially older and more retired. Their kids and their offspring have taken on their mantles with, you know, powers and such, but not to the same pedigree that the Justice League was. So, essentially, the Justice League had to rain down on this new generation of heroes and beat the crap out of them. And then you have Superman in that who's older, very similar to the Injustice video game or the nightmare sequence in Batman vs. Superman. And you have him fighting Batman, leading the resistance of these younger heroes who thinks what Superman's doing is wrong. You eventually have a super showdown with Superman in... Captain Marvel Shazam, and it's it's dope. And that was my first introduction to physical Took page in front of you comic book superhero. Two years to get back that comic. I read it in a week. At least he didn't eat it. A week? At least, At least didn't I didn't eat it. Eat it. Yes, least but didn't apart, I probably destroyed a couple of my dad's Spectre comic books. <laughs> the Spectre was great, though. In terms of uh, my favorite, my favorite, not that I don't love Kingdom Come, but it definitely highlights my favorite genre, personally. I'm kind of taking over here. Sorry, guys. It's fine. Um, 
<laughs> my favorite comic book, and to me the greatest comic book of all time, easily has to be DC versus Marvel. And probably none of you will agree with me, but that's okay. In the 90s, Marvel and DC were both going bankrupt, and they needed something to ignite their brand, and they decided, let's come together and make the ultimate super showdown. If you thought you knew how your heroes would win in a fight with each other, Hulk versus Superman, it, oh, wow. Well, there we go. Look, in and sequence. four is right there. The best duo right here, comic book duo. 90s I mean, publicity. I Jim here, too. <laughs> Forgot about that ad. Oh, how, oh, and the I have mask. the mask. I have the mask animated what, what's series. What's on the back of your That C-list superhero. He's actually reading. He's off. Yeah. He's, he can go read off camera. <laughs> no, but to, for me, DC versus Marvel established what my favorite genre of comic book was, and that's the crossover. I love superhero <sighs> crossover battles. They are my absolute go-to. That's why Avengers and Infinity War and Endgame are all three of my favorite movies ever made, period, hands down, no question. That's the That's the list, essentially. And then we could go on and do I remember from there. getting um, Blackest Night, turning, selling some old magic cards that I had to get it because I really wanted to read it. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't even sell some magic cards. I sold, I sold, I even remember the cards, but people probably don't care about there. They were sort of Feast of Famine. I love that card. <laughs> <laughs> and I sold them, and then I was out with a bunch of people, and we, I bought it, and I went home and I had no idea what was going on. And then it turned out that I found out, oh, it's an entire event. That's how I figured out how event comics worked, where there were lead-ups to it. And then that's where you get Sinestro War, which is actually a good More publicity. Publicity by this book. So wait, that came out around like 2007, right? So you Uh, really hadn't read much. I really hadn't read that much. Like, I, like, how I really... You didn't seem that way when I met you, so... (laughs) Yeah, I was kind of bowling my way through that whole conversation when I first made So our friendship is based on a lie. Welcome to everything. (laughs) Hit me up. What was the last comic book you guys bought? The last comic book I bought were the Mark Weed uh, Archies. Eric? Boom Studios Power Rangers comic line. It's fantastic. Go read it. It's honestly better than the Power Rangers franchise, and Power Rangers is my number one. Yeah, that, that's, that's a jam. Yes, it is my jam. Mine was, uh, they had the Star Trek crossover by IDW, IDW Publishing. With yes. S- yep. Star Trek, Next Gen, Deep Space Nine, Voyager. Everybody's here. With the Q. Is okay. the let me ask you, is that comic book what you read better than anything you've seen in Star Trek in any of the series? I mean it's hard to top Deep, Deep Space Nine or any of the <laughs> next right. next gen Q episodes, but so far it's awesome. I mean, I still remember going to Barnes and Noble and someone telling me like right when I was starting to get into comics to read Long Halloween. And that's that's one of my favorite comic books. It's really good. It's a really good comic book. That's a really good mystery, and I did not see that end coming. I remember then buying Dark Victory and someone losing it. Of course I did. <laughs> My brother got into um, Hellboy. He didn't try to eat this one. <laughs> he didn't want the he Dark didn't Force comics. comics. He, he, he read it. He got into Hellboy. And then you loaned me um, Gotham by Gaslight. Yes. Oh, that was a good terrific. book. Yes. That was, I got that on Batman Day a few years back. I remember that was you owning me that, and you're like, here, you should read it. And then I read it, and it was like, the first one with Jack the Ripper, it was okay. The second one, though, that one felt more like a Zorro story, which is what Batman's based off of. And like, this one's awesome. And then when I found out that they did the movie, they weren't, I don't know if they did the second part. I was like, please do the second part with the Zeppelins yeah. and, and all that other stuff. Excuse me. Dirgibles. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Dirgibles. And then what else? Um... We don't, what else did I get? I've gotten... I have to think what's in my You've life. gotten a lot now. Yeah, I've so gotten a lot. Like, you have a bigger I remember, pile than I like, do. I bought the Avengers like first like 12 comics of that. I gave that to my nephew to read because he wanted to know what was the big deal about the Avengers. I bought... What was the big deal about the Avengers? Well, what's the deal? Uh, what's let me sip the my deal? Well, tea here. He was like, yeah, I mean, you can drink more of your fake water. Uh... Ah, yes. He's like, I don't understand what's so cool about him. He's like, well, lucky for you, I just have... The that guy's Smarties got a hammer. Here. Come Did on. Did you just say low-key for you? Low-key for you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Bad jokes. We'll be here on And then, uh, what else? I got... I remember when the Spider-Man game came out on PlayStation 1. Oh, so good. It was. It, it almost still stands up. Obviously, we've I gotten mean, better well, since, he, but he, he, it's, he, Barney, was, it's good. Stop nodding your head. It's good. Nothing on the original PlayStation really stands up. What? Let's face it. Ooh, Ooh, that's it. another video. Yeah, that's a whole other video. <laughs> Dan, you all right over there? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, then I bought, um, the death, I bought the collection of the death of Captain Stacy. 
That's when I realized yes. that I hate Dr. Octopus with a burning passion. <laughs> <laughs> I read almost all of Ultimate Spider-Man. Yes, for like great two line. two years. Great line, good. definitely. I remember going to sixth grade. I remember going to school one day in sixth grade, and someone brought in a copy of X-Men number one. I will always associate that day with that. They brought that to school. So ambitious. How he brought that to school. must be pissed. <laughs> He's like, it's worth $150 at the time. Oh, nice. Can I see it? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. And he was like guarding it. Wouldn't let anyone touch it. You know uh, what I think? I, I wish I, I had actually done more of this. And I certainly still can because I'm only 24. Um, I would oh. actually really like to read a true Wonder Woman comic that isn't so much an origin i've seen I've, I've obviously we've seen wonder woman and i've read wonder woman origins before but it'd be kind of nice to read something that's you know set more modern now i guess in terms of kind of where we are well like for me for me when i read comics i don't really like read just a character i try to like follow a writer that i like yeah and then i think i told you to do that yeah, you did. I haven't done it, yeah, but he has told me to do it. I, I like I view it like reading a novel. Like you, you pick a, a writer that you like, you follow that writer. Like I bought Jeff Johns' Aquaman books. I knew nothing about Aquaman, but I bought them at when we were at Comic Con. I bought them. Oh and, yeah, 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 Boston yeah. Comic Con. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember like hunting. I was like, we gotta go find New Fifty Two Aquaman. And I think I think you or someone made a joke like, why do you want to read Aquaman? I was like, why not? I probably did because Aquaman's just a great punchline. You get easy laughs. Yeah. Oh. I have a friend that has a little legit nerd rage on it if you just talk smack about Aquaman. I just find it's just underwater Superman. Do you guys do you guys remember the story? So I'll, I'll invite our audience here to this. So I we went to Boston Comic Con, um, and we sat down for the Jason Momoa panel. <laughs> I actually still have that video. I'm aware that you do. <laughs> So we're at the Chase Momoa panel, and this is before he's officially announced as Aquaman, long before Batman v Superman. This is like, I think it was 2013? 2013. 2013, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was unofficial that he was going to be Aquaman. And I, I'm i talking to him. We're at the panel. I have my question. Obviously, I'm asking about Aquaman, and I'm saying, how do you feel about taking on the superhero has been the butt of jokes for years to come? And he just told me the... Sit on he, down. He, I thought he was down. I thought he was calling me down. So he said, "You want me to come?" And he goes, "No, no sit, sit down." down. Sit Keep down. in mind, Jason Momoa was hung, so hung over off of his rocker, shades on deep. He did not Coffee want to be there. He was he's just. Like, he's like, I'm just gonna be here. And I'm here. I mean, we guys. also went to the Sean Austin panel, and that was an awesome panel. Yes, it was. Because that's when he was playing Raphael from Ninja Turtles. Yes. I had forgotten about that. So anyway, that's my story of how I got shot down by Aquaman. So a, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> he crashed and burned, folks. I did. I was crushed. I thought I thought oh. my information was false. I thought I got it wrong. I never want to be wrong with my information. I never want to spread false rumors. I never want to spread false truth, especially with superhero because I care so much. So, I was crushed. But when I found out that I was right afterwards, I could say that I got shot down by Aquaman. Cheers. So now that now that he's so come out see. as Aquaman, now when you go sit when you saw the movie, you're like, hmm. I knew I was right. <laughs> I knew this it. movie still feels like a fever dream. What was he there for? He was there promoting Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. And yeah, Barney yeah. didn't know what he was there for. I, I, I was. Didn't even know he was in Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no. I kind of fans forgot. don't listen. <laughs> I, a lot of women were there trying to get him to like sleep with them because he was. I can't imagine yeah. why. Yeah. yeah, obviously no, you know, that's no why reason why. He's yeah, only he's, handsome and gorgeous, whatever. Yeah. Talking about his, he's his also ridiculously thing. tall, too. Yeah, he was... Uh, <laughs> like, he walked by us, and I was dressed as Superman, and he's like, sup? And I waved hi to him, and then he was like, and I'm 6'2", and the guy towered over me. And I was <laughs> like, tiny. Tiny. <laughs> I was like, there's very few times in my life I feel short, and this is one of them. <laughs> That's what happens when you grow up underwater. And on that note, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna end it here, folks. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Knights of the Dirty Table. Comment down below what your first comic book was, if you've read any. If you haven't read any comics, what kind of comics would you like to read? Doesn't have to be superhero necessarily. It can be anything, whether it be Walking Dead, anything from Archie Comics, whatever. Let us know your thoughts below. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe to Knights of the Dirty Table. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.